All right, Justine. Hi. So I've sent you a list of all the foods that are good for your eyes. What are you going to prepare for us? Well, it was very helpful, that list. It was quite good. So what we're going to do is some salmon with an avocado and chili salsa on a bed of wilted spinach with some peas and a Ooh, bit of sesame oil. That so you've got delicious. Just about everything in the world in this dish. Yes. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of oil. Oh, that wasn't so tiny. On the fish. And just rub it in. Just a bit of canola oil, vegetable oil. Okay. And then a bit of salt and pepper. And then, you know, with salmon, you can roast it or you can do it on the stove top. But we've got so many things to do. I thought I'd just do it like this. You can put it, we'll put a bit of lemon on afterwards. This is going to go in the oven for literally okay, like right. five minutes or so. Okay. So while you do that, I'm just going to make the salsa. So you want a chunky salsa. We've got some garlic. I'm going to use a half a clove of garlic. You don't want it to be too, mm. too sort of garlicky. And a chilli. That really depends on you. I quite like the chilli. All that lovely vitamin C. Yes, and the antioxidants, and they're very good for your eyes. Bit of salt and pepper, because that's always good. Bit of lemon juice. And that's a rather delicious salsa. Mm. Okay, salmon's in. We'll put the salsa there. Now we're going to use beautiful iron-filled spinach. I'm just going to rinse it for a moment. So, Andrea, the, the reason you want to wash the spinach is not because it's dirty. It's because, basically, I'm trying not to use oil and I want to wilt it. And it just helps oh, a little if there's moisture. a little bit of moisture mm. there. And it doesn't matter if it's English spinach or the more kale-type spinach. And I want to toss some peas in there. In fact, may as well use them all. And then, really, you just literally wilted because you want it to be quite fresh tasting delicious and then i'm going to use a little bit of sesame oil so you use it as a seasoning rather than a cooking oil because it's quite strong, strong so you just yes. want to like just a little bit of and that will be that yeah. so i mean literally that's as long as it takes that's perfect you don't want it to cook any more than that right now you're going to need can you get the salmon for me because i think we're actually kind of ready to plate it all up beautiful Thank you. Mm, Perfect. Oops. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this. I mean, one doesn't want to be terribly chefy. There it is. Okay, I can move that. Put this beautiful Ooh, that salmon. Looks delicious. Oh, how divine. The skin's come off. That's great because a lot of people don't like skin. Over there. Right. Now I can grab that. My arms aren't that long. My <laughs> eyes might be good after this meal, but my arms aren't going to grow. And then I mean, just, just kind of haphazardly. I mean, this is a meal I'd be quite happy to eat any day of the week. Mm. Here we go. Maybe a bit of squeeze of lemon. And voila, darling, there you are. A lunch fit for a princess with good eyes. Oh, absolutely. Great value is more than just a great price. That's why this segment is brought to you by Pick and Pay.